Hello, it's Stacy, and I am back this week with an honest review of the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Self Tanning Mousse. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. I love to cover all things mom stuff, fashion, beauty, anti-aging, self tanning, um, just really giving my honest review on all things and saving women brain space, effort, and time and money um, with finding some things that are worth spending your money on and spending your time on. So you're going to get my honest review on this. I have not even opened this bottle. I don't know what it smells like. I don't know what it's going to look like. So I'm going to show you before and after of what the medium Bali bronzing foam looks like. Um, I also wanted to mention that I've heard of this, this company twice. One was from a girlfriend that used to actually be my account executive in the at the makeup uh, line that I worked for at Nordstrom. I worked at Nordstrom for eight years and she said that a lot of her friends have been using this product because we were messaging on Instagram. And so when you know people in the beauty industry that use it, that's always a good sign. And the second grouping of people that I heard it from was some seniors in high school that I was chatting with. They said that they had tried a lot of different products from Ulta and Coco Neve was the top winner for not only price, but for the way, for the color, the way that it wears and the way that it wears off, because we all know we do not want splotchy, self tanner coming off like that just looks terrible. So, um, I think that's pretty good word of mouth. And if you're like me, I go off of word of mouth a lot for almost everything. So, um, let's get right into it. I wanted to show you too, how beautiful, well, this brochure has all of their products. They have a ton of different things. Um, but it is definitely like, you know, sit clean. It's clean. That's what we like. And the packaging is really great. I'm actually going to keep the packaging because when you go on a trip, say you're going to be somewhere for a week or a week and a half, and you're going to want to reapply your self tanner. How great will this be for your suitcase to not get the self tanner everywhere? The uh, brush that you can do for the face or for the hands, the smaller areas. I have the mitt that I'll be using today. And how cool is this back? tanner. So I probably won't show you on video because, um, you know, it will be hard to do, but I would assume that you would just put some foam on the middle of it and then just go back and forth with the self tanner. It is so soft and the handles are really nice. Uh, don't do any lotion. So I am going to just listen to what they say and not do any oil or body lotion first. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It's a mango papaya scent, I think. So this is what it looks like. And I am just going to go in circular motions. I'm gonna kind of apply it. Do circular motions all over, using very lightly around my wrist, knuckles, elbow, but making sure to get it everywhere. It's going on really nicely. It's very smooth. It's not catching anywhere. And I just got back from a trip where my skin is incredibly dry. I was in the desert and so I just feel so dehydrated still. So what I'm gonna do for my hand, I could take the little brush, but honestly, I'm just going to take the mitt and whatever's left from those three pumps that I used, I'm just gonna apply it on my hand. So you can actually leave this on. This is what I like about it. You can leave it on for two hours and then just rinse it off and pat dry and go to your event. It's an express self tanner. Um, but if you want a darker tan, you can sleep in it. So that's what I'll do. I'll just sleep in it tonight because I have nothing going on. You could even take this and like do a little tiny pump on the brush and do your work your hand that way and then kind of buff this way around the edges. So I am just going to, I did two pumps. I'm just gonna take it here. It smells so good. I'm really excited to see too how the smell changes or if it does change or, if, you know, cause I don't like that icky self tanner smell at all. It's kind of embarrassing. Jergens, oh, don't ever buy Jergens, it's terrible. That was like the first one I started with. Okay, so you can see the color looks good. You can see the difference in my arms already. It has anti-aging. It has like mandarin oil, fig, papaya to help uh, improve the signs of aging. 
and I definitely feel that. It definitely feels good, not like it's absorbing and sucking in and getting dry. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on. All right, I'm back today. This is the next day, actually. I ended up sleeping in my medium Sunny Honey Coco and Eve, and all night last night, my skin felt hydrated. It never got that dried out feeling that a spray tan can give me sometimes. I smelled good. My daughter asked me what lotion I had on. My husband attested to the fact that my skin smelled really, really good. Went to bed, wasn't sticky, didn't get on my sheets. Um, the color is medium, so I would say it's very natural for the tan that I have already from summer. So I would next time buy the dark for myself. There's also an ultra dark option, but if you are fair skin or new to self tanning, medium is gorgeous. You cannot mess it up. And I washed off great in the shower today. I'm loving how tan I feel, and I love that it was not one of those self tanners that I had to live around. It just smelled great, looked great. I wore it all night, and um, I recommend it to anyone. This will be the brand that I buy all the time, and I especially love the um, anti-aging properties and ingredients in it because it really did feel nice on my skin. So at the very top of the description box, Below this video, you will see the link to get yours. And I would definitely look into the facial tanning drops because all you have to do is mix them with your moisturizer and put those on. I, I wear facial drops on my face and my neck. So snag some of those. The mitt is awesome. It didn't even get on my hand, so I didn't even have to wash my hands. And I showed you how I did it where I just took the excess of what was on the glove and wiped it around on my hands and they are perfect. And I didn't have to then go wash because it had the nice plastic lining on the mitt. So thumbs up, love this product and I cannot wait for you to try it and comment below if you've already used it and you love it as well. Tell me what shade that you wear and I'll talk to you soon.